Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my name is Mario. We are back with more Don't Starve. And um, as you can see, hold on, let me equip this. I'm really getting used to the controls. Um, I put most of the mods back on. And we will see if it crashes. Hopefully, maybe all the game needed was like a day or two for them to update the mods. And uh, we'll take it from there. And we move the mouse out of the way. I'm still playing with the controller, as you guys can see. Well, I don't know if you guys can see, but left, up, down, left, right, whatever. And just, we're going to just use this and just see how viable it is. Um, do I have a pickaxe? No, I don't. Let's make one. Um, yeah, I mean, these controls are pretty good. Um, I think they thought a lot about exactly how they're going to actually, like... I mean, it feels natural. That's what, that's what I want to say about the controls. It feels like they didn't put too much, like, work into it. Like, not that they didn't put work into it. It's like, they didn't have to try... Ah, what do I want to say? I want to say that... Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, Oops, oops, oops. Okay. I messed up a little bit here. Hey, okay, which one messed it up? I'm gonna figure out which one messed it up. Okay. I think I know how to like avoid that little thing. Don't do what I just did, which is go to the inventory and move it around. If that makes any sense. Oh man, I really wanna play with at least stack up. So, we will do display foods, max stack, and picky picky. Let's see if those three work. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. We're just uh, messing around with the game and we'll see what happens. Please work, please work, please work. So I'm going to replicate what I just did. We'll see if it uh, crashed it. Um, let's see. I'm back to, I'm literally back to where I was. So before I move on, let's pick it up. Ah, look at that. Okay, I can play with that. Now, let's go ahead and quit it again. And we'll try adding that other mod, um, the amulet one. Maybe that's the one that messed it up. Let's check really quick, because that's the one that just extremely helps. Waiting on it, waiting on it. Hurry up, Steam Workshop. So, I have to click here. Backpacking amulet. That is the one. That is the one. Let's do it. Come on, I got this. I got this. <clears throat> So I think for the first um, Don't Starve days, we'll survive for 10 to 15. Okay, let's see for mods. What? So what crashed it? I did something that crashed. Let's keep playing and we'll just wait until it crashes again. Okay, so let's go and check the map. Um, how do I zoom in? There we go, that's how to do it. So let's go ahead and explore a bit more. What else do I need to find? Okay. I guess right now, we need a lot of grass and stuff. Uh, we have tons and tons of gold nuggets, so we don't have to worry about that. And quite a few bit of flint. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see. Is there anything here? Um, okay, I'm probably going to have to move around to the right. It is near the Splunkle, so maybe I'll find something in this area here and we can build our house there. That's what I want to do. And uh, I, keep, I keep cutting myself off, but yeah. How many, how many wood do I have? Um... Around, let's see, equip that, equip that. So, um, after I gotta make my house first, but we will definitely, definitely go back into the underground, go to the ruins, because here's the thing there is no more regen thing, so that means they are most likely done with adding. Well, they're not done with adding new stuff to the underground, but I think the reason that they got rid of the regen thing is they feel as though um, they have enough content to make it viable for, um, for living, you don't have to regen it anymore. Let's go and make a quick campfire for freaking quick, quick, quick campfire. Put it right there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and just talk about some stuff. I've been reading the forums lately, and um, I saw a thread which said, "What do you want in Don't Starve? What do you want in future updates?" Uh, there was a big complaint that people had, and I kind of agree with it. It's a uh, hold on. Can I? Oh, I can cook it. I'll go ahead and cook that. I don't know. I don't have that much food. Oh my god. Okay, so while I'm cooking this, let's go ahead and talk about what I was talking about. Um, yeah, there's a huge thing that I agree with. I'm pretty sure you guys will too. It is, um, we they want, and I also want a reason to go to the underground. There isn't really a huge like incentive to go down there, and um, you know the only thing is is if you maybe can like literally not find any rocks on the overworld, and you want to just go straight down there. And the other huge reason would just to be um, get tholocyte and other junk, but you don't really need to go to the underground 
to make um, your press a hepatator or stuff like that. I mean, maybe if there was something you actually absolutely need, that would make it better. You guys know what I'm talking about? I know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Alright, so waiting for the day to end. Um, I don't have damn bones on anymore, so I can't really break it down. Let's go ahead and make a pickaxe. I don't have one on me anymore. Come on, let's do this. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Inspect. Nice and comfy. Very far as getting below. Nice and comfy. Yeah. Um, okay, so this morning, as soon as it hits the day, the next day, we're going to search for a lot of grass because right now I don't have... Where's my grass? Oh my god, did I literally run out of grass? Okay, grass and food. That's what we're going to do right now, right here. So, um, should I go up or down? Upright looks a bit more like the area which I would find stuff. So, let's head over there. There's that spelunkle I passed earlier. Mm, nice little birdie. How much rocks? I have so much. I don't need to bother picking them up, but it's in the direct way, so why not? Um, so, I'm starting to head in a direction which I've never explored before. Pick these up. <coughs> There's a little sliver of sewer. Not sewer. Like, why did I call it sewer? I'm going to eat that, too. Um, swamp. Uh, it'll be really awesome to go to the underground soon because um, I said before in the change log, and I, I don't know if you guys remember, but one of the things I'm really excited for is the generation of the underground. They said it felt a lot more natural. You know, like look at look at the overworld. You have some rock thing right here. You have the plush biome here. And this one, little sliver of that. It's it's a lot of here and there. Oh no, is there literally nothing here? Okay. Oh no. Look at all that grass. Did I pick all that up? Not sure if I did, but I might as well go up there because there is a road. We'll go check that out. So pick this up, eat it, and let's take my chances with going up there. Let's follow. No, if I follow the wall on the right, it's just gonna be meh. There's nothing I can do. Let's just run around. So, um, yeah, the underground should be a lot more natural. They say. They say. Well, I'll be the judge of that. And they added a couple new biomes. Um, red mushroom biome, blue mushroom biome, and the swamp. This is kind of weird and funny because um, on the first level of the underground, you have the giant tentacles just randomly around there. And that makes sense because at the top, the tentacles pop up, and as you go down more, it gets thicker. And uh, you can see the whole body down there. Um, so if there's a swamp, does that mean that... Okay, if there is a swamp... Oh, cool, look at all this. Yeah, if there are swamp biomes on the first floor, then that means there are tentacles that are going to be popping up. And that means that on the underground, the third floor, there should be even bigger tentacles, right? I, that makes sense. Look what I found. Some rope and a free trap. I will definitely grab that. But first, it's day three. So I, I got to be smart and um, just pick up everything I can. Dun, 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 dun. Come here, Bunny! No, oh, he got away. Pick up. So inventory's okay. Not, not the worst. I need to make, before I start fighting anything at all, I need to make at least a grass suit, but most likely a log suit. Look at all the stuff, this is great. I'm so glad I ran up here. Look at all the freaking carrots, lots of saplings, and twigs, and grass. I should be set for a couple of days. Um, so, the only spelunkle I have is all the way down there. There is a road right there, so, you know. I know for sure there should be at least one more hanging around somewhere, so we're going to take our chances and just keep exploring. It is very early, and but if there isn't any spawn coals, and if I don't find one in the next couple episodes, that's going to be the one we have to go to. So, as always, I'm going to be very, very picky about where I want to put my house, because I always regret it later on. Have you guys noticed how much the underground really changed my playthrough? In particular, I know if you, if you watch my videos constantly, then you probably watch a lot of other um, commentators. I, I don't really watch anyone else besides... <coughs> no, I don't really watch any Don't Star playthroughs anyway, but... I don't know if people are making the uh, same kind of changes with the game that I am. Which is every update, I'm the one running around and just literally trying to find everything that is new on the update. As of this one, I am going down underground too. Okay, there is a rock... I will keep following the roads because roads usually lead me to pig farms. Pig villages, not farms. What the heck am I talking about? This ain't Minecraft. Oh, look! We have a blow dart. I wonder how this is gonna work. Like, 
That's gonna be awkward. You guys know what I mean, right? Because you have to actually, like, point it in the game with the mouse. <laughs> um, equip. So how would I actually shoot something with this? Let's test it out. This is awkward. <laughs> Look, I'm shooting. Look, I'm shooting. I'm blowing in it. Blow with the blow. I'm not literally shooting, right? All right, let's keep looking around. If I see a rabbit, I'm gonna just, you know, do this animation. We'll see if it shoots it out. <coughs> Cause um, it's not like you have a free cursor, uh, mouse thingy. All right, let's you know what? Shoot that. Eh. That worked. Okay, all you gotta do is point towards him and hit him. So let's go ahead and just get the crap out of this guy. Take this and that. Oh, oops. Oh my god, I clicked over the axe and I pressed attack, but I didn't have it equipped. Okay, I have to equip it, I have to equip it. I have to remember that. That Okay, that's another thing that I need to get used to um, and don't starve. Is that I, I gotta equip the items first. Alright, so how much... Okay, I have 38 twigs and 24 logs. Uh, I mean, 20, 24 rope. Not, not the worst. I can do better. Alright, that's a good sign. There is a rock on the floor right there. And that can mean that there is a spelunk hole. Because through all my experiences with the spelunk holes, that's what I've seen. There it is. There's another one. Alright, this is looking good. This is looking good. Um, I haven't seen any spiders around here. So I won't be able to live on monster meat and, um, you know, bird eggs. There it is. Spelunk hole never fails as long as you got these things around you. It's a good hint, so... I'm glad it's being very consistent, and uh, I can give that tip to you guys. And Dobo Alien has invited me to play Dota 2. <laughs> it's been a while since I posted more Dota 2 videos, so I should do that. Um, almost the end of the day. Just keep doing this. Keep doing this. I must pick up Z Grass. I must pick up Z Grass. Orale, they want me to play. No. <gasps> Look at this. This is awesome. Okay, let's quickly pick this up. I gotta watch out for those things in the ground. A little buffalo wool, pick up the bones. Oh, that's just bones. Spear, free buffalo wool. And, of course, the hat, very important. I think uh, it decreases as I, as I put it on my character. So I don't want to really put it on. Let's go ahead and take it off. I mean, it's not armor. It's only, um, helps against the cold. Alright, almost nighttime. Let's go ahead and make another fire. And we'll chop down trees while it's being all nightish. So, down. Campfire. Right here, looks good. Alright, my axe is on 5%. Let me go ahead and just break this. 2, 3, 4, 5. Make another one. Tools. I'm getting pretty fast with the um, creation here. <coughs> shaving, shaving. I never figured out what that was. The little saving side. Oh, you guys can't see it, how my face is in the way. Now, you guys know what I talk about if you play Don't Starve. You see the little um, the icon for saving. It's like a wheel. It's like, it's like a brick with a wheel on it and a lever. It's pretty awkward. Okay, let's talk about. Um, okay, let's talk about what I was, what I brought up earlier, which was, what do you guys want to see and don't star? I will freaking close that thingy here. They keep reminding me to play games, but I'm too busy playing. I should really close my Skype and junk, but I'm just too lazy. Um, so yeah, what do you guys want to see and don't star? Like I, I brought up the thing before. Um, people want a reason to go to the underground, and another big thing was people want multiplayer. Uh, multiplayer, I believe, should be in the game, but it shouldn't be like a. Yeah, I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh, how do I put this in the campfire? I can't put that in. There. How do I add fuel? Can I add this in there? How come I can't put this to add fuel? That's really weird. All right, we'll add fuel. <coughs> But yeah, multiplayer should be in. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people would um, hate the idea. And by hate, I mean they would maybe argue, um, you know, Don't Starve is about being on yourself in this open world. And that's how a lot of people said about Minecraft. But oh my god, that's the best thing about playing Minecraft. You got your friends with you. So, I don't know if it's on their agenda or if it's even like on their thing at all I would love to see it and uh, let me let me know what you guys think I know there is a mod the dragons dragon something mod that allows you to play multiplayer but that's not true multiplayer the problem with that mod um, I, I went ahead and researched it because it would be awesome to make videos like that but 
here's the thing it's only local if you want to play with a friend did I my axe break? If my axe broke, let's pick another one. Yeah, if you want to play with a friend or something, you literally have to have... Um, there, there are programs which um, your friends can control certain parts of your computer. And I've used that before, it's pretty cool. But uh, it's not really viable for them to play on Don't Starve with you. Um, it's a nice start, I'm not gonna lie, pretty cool. But um, I wouldn't try it out anytime soon. So. The re only reason I'm rambling on about stuff is because it's very early in the Don't Starve, um, I don't want to, well, in, in my Don't Starve world, and I'm just collecting stuff, surviving, making sure I know where I want to live, so don't worry, in the next couple of episodes, maybe not the next one, but the one after that or something, we'll start doing more action-oriented stuff, maybe taming some pigs, finally going in the hole, there it is, the spunk hole, see what we got. So for now, I'm going to have to end here, if you guys enjoyed the video whatsoever, please leave a like, it helps so much, and if you haven't already, Hit that subscribe button to become a moblin today. If you guys enjoy my videos, please help my channel grow by uh, either sharing it with your friends, social media sites, even favoring it extremely helps. So that's it for now, and um, I'll see you guys next time.